with the Terry Schiavo case. Mm -hmm. I find it so unfortunate. It's so unusual, too. That, that situation doesn't come up very often. It should teach us all a lesson to have living wills or a good uh, a conversation with a spouse. I would want my spouse to make the decision. And, uh, but it's better to have a living will. But I, I don't like going up the ladder. You know, we go to the federal courts and the Congress and on up. Yes, difficult decisions. Will it be perfect for everybody? Not. But I would have preferred to see the decision made, made at the state level. But I've been involved in medicine with things similar, but not quite as difficult as this. But usually we deferred to the family. And it, it wasn't made uh, a, a big issue like this was. This was way out of proportion to what happens more routinely. But I think it should urge us all to try to plan for this and uh, make sure either that one individual that's closest to you makes a decision or you sign a living will, and this would have solved the whole problem. Beth? Governor 